so we got in a nice conversation and now I got a chance to look at his manuscript because um, he wanted us to write a kind of preface for it. And it's a great book and I really recommend it. And it's called Inoperative Education. And the guy's name is Tyson Lewis and he teaches out um, at the University of West Texas. Um, and the reason I bring it up is that he says, okay, well, what could, what could we do to actually get out from under this political authority, this leadership, this model that society has to be built? And he says, okay, well, I'm going to take you through education and, and show you how one might, through what he calls inoperative education, which he gets from a gambin, how one might try to get away from a pathway towards authority, a pathway towards leadership. Um, and he says, look, the way schools and universities are structured today, and this is precisely the opposite of what Manola's talking about around um, convivial, convivial learning and, and learning tools, and it's precisely the opposite of what Tanika's experimenting with uh, in her projects. He says learning as it's set up in the universities um, is, is about the creation of authority, about the creation of leadership, uh, and, and obedience to it. Now some of that is well known to us, but what he does with this critique is he offers us a whole set of tools that we could use to do something together, let's call it study, let's call it finding convivial tools, etc., without having to go through this process where, according to him, what learning is, is it has an intention. That intention is to try to reach some goal that goal, whether you've reached it or not, can be measured. And then that measurement can lead to the judgment of mastery. Now he wants to say that judgment of mastery is also you know, the, a moment of leadership, just as was the intention at the beginning to try to reach it. So the whole thing is a pattern um, which is going to reinstitute again and again the idea that society has to be based on a certain kind of political authority. Um, both politics and authority coming through learning in this way. So chapter by chapter, he has all these ways for us to think about research, to think about learning, think about teaching, that might take us away from that by, by, by thinking about study as something which constantly calls itself, calls knowledge into question in a way that doesn't resolve uh, in new or better knowledge, doesn't necessarily resolve um, uh, in, a, in a better form of research, but instead leaves us all the time with a relationship to each other that um, has to be addressed outside of authority, outside of I know, outside of um, um, uh, the kind of self-improvement um, that gives people the, the right to teach or the right to be students or the right to graduate or the right to have credit, et cetera, et cetera.